Does your deck look ready for a spruce up? Finishing your deck can keep it looking fresh and new. In this video, we'll show you how to use an air-powered spray gun to revitalize your deck appearance. We suggest finding a calm day, with little to no wind for this project. Here are the tools and supplies you will need. Air compressor, hose and fittings, air-powered spray gun, pressure feed or siphon feed, air adjusting valve, blow gun, broom, deck stain or exterior grade paint, oil based or water based, cardboard, duct tape or painters tape for masking, safety glasses, respirator or mask, latex gloves. Now let's get started. Be sure to read your spray gun instructions before using the tool. First, clear the deck of obstructions. Remove all furniture and make sure the deck area to be finished is clear of plants, flowers, and any other materials. Next, turn on your compressor. Let the tank fill. We suggest using a minimum of 8 gallons, but it depends how fast you go and the size of the deck. Now clean the deck. Sweep large debris and dirt off the deck floorboards, railings, and stairs. Use a blow gun to clean out cracks and clear fine dust and dirt from the deck. Next, mask the area around the deck. You can use cardboard, duct tape, or painter's tape to mask off any parts of your house that you want to protect from paint or stain. This includes siding, brick, and concrete. When using cardboard, wedge it between the deck and the house. You may need thinner cardboard for tighter spaces. When using tape, use a type that can be easily removed from your siding so it doesn't leave a residue. Now you are ready to spray. Be sure to read the instructions on your stain or paint container before filling the canister. We are using stain for this deck, but you can also use paint with your spray gun. First, prepare the spray gun by filling the canister with water or oil-based deck stain. Attach the canister to the spray gun. And then attach the gun to the air hose. Next, adjust the outlet pressure on your air compressor to 100 to 125 PSI. Then adjust the air adjusting valve at the spray gun to 40 PSI operating pressure. Once you get started spraying, you may need to adjust the pressure further for optimal results. Always consult your spray gun's owner's manual for proper pressure setting. Next, practice using the spray gun with a piece of cardboard. Turn the pattern control and material knobs completely clockwise and start to spray. Adjust these knobs as needed. Most common deck stains do not need thinning. However, if the material you are using seems very thick, you will need to thin it. The ideal spray pattern is a fine mist that evenly coats the surface without running or dripping. If large drops spray from the gun, you will want to thin the stain. Refer to the paint manufacturer's specifications on thinning. Here are some tips for spraying. Sweep the gun back and forth in an even long stroke when applying paint or stain. Start spraying in a corner and work toward the stairs or exit when spraying deck boards. This helps you avoid getting stuck in a corner. Try to keep the spray gun as level and upright as possible. You may need to angle it a little in order to get in some tight spaces or when spraying the floor. Spray with the grain for best results. Keep moving. Don't stay in one place too long in order to avoid creating pools of stain or paint. When spraying spindles, use a tight spray pattern to minimize material waste. Simply adjust the pattern control knob and fluid control knob to make the spray pattern tighter and smaller. When spraying floors, adjust your pattern a bit wider to use fewer passes. Read the label for drying time. Apply another coat if needed until desired look is achieved. Now your deck looks like new. For more air-powered projects, visit chpower.com.